Hello, and welcome back to EDM Movement. Famous DJs live an enjoyable life, doing what they love and jamming to massive music festivals visited by millions. However, some DJs have live-streamed in really unique places across the world. And with a global pandemic raging outside of our homes, there's no doubt they've done so in crazy locations. Today, we'll be listing the most unique places DJs have live-streamed. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please check out and subscribe to our music channel, Reminis. We share our favorite original EDM tracks and remixes every week. Link in the description. Now, let's dive right into it. David Guetta The COVID-19 has caused a lot of distress regarding the events and entertainment world. Massive events such as Coachella has been canceled, though David Guetta still managed to live stream during the United at Home stream and gather a whopping 12 million viewers raising $700,000 in donations. Who said that the live music industry was on hold? David Guetta just proved that thanks to the internet and technology, fans can still enjoy jamming at his music at home and even raise money for charity. He employed an indoor setup and performed outdoors in Miami with festival-grade production. Of course, those who live nearby the live stream were only able to watch him live, playing from the safety of their balconies. The live stream didn't focus only on David Guetta, though, also zooming in on the faces and dances of Miami locals. David Guetta was quick to tweet how he was overjoyed at the results and the incredible number of donations obtained. Thanks to these donations, 1.7 million meals could be distributed to South Florida residents, healthcare working conditions were improved, and the vaccine efforts were accelerated. Don Diablo As the previous members of our list have, Don Diablo also went ahead and live-streamed from an intriguing location when the COVID-19 pandemic put to halt the music industry. He teased the event by posting short, funny videos from his house, interacting with fans in Q&A sessions, and dropping a YouTube series called The Art of DJ. He jammed along with other famous artists like Steve Aoki, Rita Ora, One Republic, and Ellie Goulding to raise money for the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund for WHO. Tuning in from his swimming pool and playing a 55-minute long set that featured an energetic drum and bass set. This showcased his DJ skills greatly, but most impressive was his ability to play even when in a pool. Everything was so smooth that it easily demonstrates what an amazing DJ he is, and he enjoyed every second of it as much as we did. Martin Garrix Just last week, Martin Garrix made headlines when he streamed on Dutch Waters with a set comprised of unreleased music and some hits from his single with John Martin. He streamed right as the speedboat raced across the waters, bringing his music set everywhere along the coast. As with other members of our list, everyone was surprised by the normality of his performance. Martin Garrix seemed completely unfazed despite most people struggling to hold their balance while speeding across the waters, let alone playing music like he was on firm ground. Did you watch the live stream? If you did, comment down below. We'll be answering your comments. Mr. Belt and Weasel the funniest live stream of this list has to go to Mr. Belt and Weasel, who streamed from a farm during the Slam Quarantine Festival. They jammed along with sheep and alpaca at the Alpaca World Brielle. And the funny thing is that these alpacas seemed to quite enjoy the music, as they kept feeding and prowling as normal while they played. We've saved the best for last, and by far the most impressive DJ live stream ever recorded in a crazy location has to be Cascade. One of the most impressive live streams we've ever seen in the history of music has been Cascades. Being the first producer to perform at the Grand Canyon Skywalk, his music was brought to one of the most gorgeous wonders of the world, performing 70 feet over the edge of the Grand Canyon and its see-through glass floor that towers 4,000 feet above the Grand Canyon floor. The most shocking fact about his performance is that he acted like normal for its entirety. The heights didn't bother the DJ in the slightest, and he danced on the glass floor the whole way through, including his well-known originals, I Remember and Disarm You, and also unreleased material. Only someone of his skill level would be able to pull off something like this. So what do you think of these crazy DJ live stream locations? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more dance music content like this. Hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.